Lego Star Wars mystery boxes are a dime a dozen. I lied, they are not a dime a dozen. They barely make Lego Star Wars mystery boxes. But in this video, we're going to be taking a look at every official Lego Star Wars mystery box and diving into the intricacies of what that even means. I don't even know what it means and I do Lego Star Wars all day every day. And you're probably thinking, what do you mean you don't know what it means? You're supposed to be the expert. It's kind of like if you show up to school and the teacher has no idea what they're actually teaching about. Same concept here. Except, like, I just want to talk about how there's a gray area here and how, like, at the end of the day, maybe only one of these, not two, like I would have uh, thought yesterday, is actually officially from LEGO. Rather, these three would be LEGO endorsed, and therefore this would be the only official LEGO Star Wars mystery box to ever exist, so... Let's talk about it. So this box here is specifically from a store in Germany named JB Spielwarren, and they sell Lego products. This has the Lego logo on it. It was purchased at Star Wars Celebration for 65 euros because one of my friends texted me and said, oh my God, I found this cool rare Lego Star Wars box at Star Wars Celebration for 65 euros. Should I buy it? And I said, yes, that's worth the risk, even if it's not an official Lego thing. And then a second later, I texted, oh, it's probably from JB Spielwarren. And then a second later after that, they texted me back and said, it's from JB Spielwarren, but they had already bought it. Anyway, this was for their May the 4th promotion at this particular store and it does say copyright Lego on the back so I assume this is officially endorsed by Lego therefore it is an official product in a way so if we open the box I, I don't know if this is what originally came in the box for sure because it's not sealed we have a Palpatine shuttle uh, foil bag we have an Obi-Wan's Jedi Interceptor foil bag we have an ATST poly bag and a Leia keychain all things considered, not too bad for a fun little mystery box. However, I know nothing about like the availability of this. I have no idea what you had to spend to get this. You know, I could probably ask them, I know them, but I didn't. But I hope this well enough explains what the gray area is with some of these other bigger mystery boxes because like, it's got the logo on there, it says copyright Lego. So is it technically the Lego product or is it a Lego license product? Like, how does that work? So I, as a collector, I kind of struggle with that. Like, should I be trying to track down every single one of these to complete my collection of like random JB Spielworn mystery boxes? And should that apply to other countries' mystery boxes too? Because we're gonna find out there's more and there's probably more that I don't even know about, but these are the more that we have today. So this red box here came out in late 2017 with the release of The Last Jedi. This was only available in the Netherlands and you had to spend 25 euros or more at a Netherlands toy chain, I believe called Inter Toys. And then you would get this box and what's inside of it to me at the time was a mystery because the front of the box does not give you any hint at all other than having the Lego logo and saying limited edition Lego Star Wars pack that there would be Lego in here. And because of that, I wanted it. Like it's, it says it's a Lego thing, so I gotta have it. And I think I paid about $100 for this, which is way more than you would have had to spend to get it back in the day. But you know, that's how things go sometimes. And then if you flip the box around, you see what's inside, a Scarif Stormtrooper and a Stormtrooper origami guy. So that's what I expect to find in here. This is the least mystery box of all of these today. Oh man, cutting this tape seal feels bad. There we go. And if we flip this open, that is what I expected inside. Actually, there's a little bit more than I expected. So we do have the Scarif Stormtrooper poly bag here. Beautiful, now maybe $30, $40 poly bag at most. Pretty expensive, they used to not be that expensive. And then this here, I did not expect. We'll get to that in a second. These are, I guess this is some sort of like cinema ticket. I guess you got a ticket or maybe you get a discounted ticket. I'm not gonna bother translating and reading these. And then this is your Stormtrooper origami guy, which for the purposes of this Lego video, I'm not too interested in. I am interested in this piece of literature here though. So I was gonna try to translate this on my phone, but the one translator app I had said Dutch is not a supported language. So I'm assuming because it just looks like it is, you would win all of the stuff here by filling this out and sending it into them and then it's some sort of sweepstake. Now the backstory as to how this video exists right now is this box released in December of 2018 and it contained five items. In the US, it would contain five of the exact same item every time according to what I could find online. However, in European countries, you could get five random items out of 12 possible items. I don't know whether I have the US version or the European version and at the time, it was seen as a way for LEGO to get rid of their old promotion stock of promos that just didn't go well and nobody cared for and they didn't sell enough of or whatever. And so this was seen as a way of LEGO just kind of recycling old inventory instead of at the time doing something fresh and new that would have been more exciting for fans. But to get this, I think you had to spend about $85. Now, two years later, in late 2020, 
a picture of this, this behemoth leaked online and it was just kind of the front of the box and everyone kind of assumed it was another Lego Star Wars mystery box. I even made a video at the time, you know, making fun of it for being more recycled stuff. You know, I was, I thought that was lame instead of doing a cool new promo, we're getting more recycled stuff, but it didn't turn out that this was an official box like this. This box, as it turned out, was more of a box like the one from J.B. Spielwarren, created by a certified like Lego retailer or Lego store, but not actually available through like Lego themselves. Now, what I didn't know at the time is this box in particular would be incredibly hard to come by. I just never saw it available for sale anywhere. It was only available in Russia. As you'll notice, the language on here is Russian and people thought, oh, maybe they'll just translate it into other languages, but that never happened. So this was only available in Russia. Then maybe a few months ago, I was tipped off that this was available on eBay and I ended up spending about $375 on it. So hopefully there's some cool stuff in here. The box does feel full. So we're gonna open the, the official one first, the official official, I mean, this one, seemingly is official too, as we'll, we'll see. I'll show you uh, what the box says with my translator app. But I wanna open this one first, because I'm excited to find out if I got good stuff or bad stuff from Lego. So this box, I think, is worth about $100 online right now, so we're cutting another expensive tape seal here. But I am really excited to find out what I have inside. And my item, ooh! Okay, so I'm pretty sure we have the American version here, because the American version had five minifigures. The European version could have like keychains and different poly bags. So we got the good version, in my opinion here. Let's go through this. Admiral Ularen, a former May 4th promo there. Again, this is 2018. So this came out three years prior on May 4th and they still had extras. 2013's Hoth Han Solo, one of the worst May 4th promos. Well, at the time, one of the worst. There have been worse since, but one of the worst May 4th promos at the time. Obviously they had still had extras five years later. The DJ poly bag. Unsurprisingly, a character nobody cared about. Then we have a Stormtrooper poly bag, Stormtrooper Sergeant, I believe. So yeah, he's even got the little uh, pauldron there. So that was a nice one. And then another one of those Scarif Stormtroopers. Again, like a $30 poly bag nowadays. They were just giving them away back in the day. And then finally, at the time, they were giving away a, I think, Platinum and Sterling Silver uh, R2-D2 and then a signed and graded TC-14. So you had tons of like giveaways going on with Lego at the time. And this was just telling you which website to go to to, to like find the, the entry for this particular character. And coincidentally, a couple weeks ago, actually, I ran into someone who ended up winning one of these R2-D2 figures. Pretty cool that you could win this stuff at the time. They haven't really done anything as cool as this in a few years now, because they're not as desperate to sell things, I guess. But at the time, this was a cool promo. Getting five, like, could you imagine for like a hundred dollar promo with Lego Star Wars if you got this? I think a lot of like newer fans have no idea how crazy things used to be. This is insane for like a one-stop promo for Lego Star Wars. Five mini figures at once, bro. Like you, you can't do better than this. So yeah, this was pretty cool for the time, but it's time. I'm like really excited about this. I have no idea. I had a, I had a good idea of what would be inside the, the last two mystery boxes, but this box is full. It's from Russia. It's got the tape seal still sealed. I have no clue what's inside. And right before we open this, I wanna show you with my translator app what this says. On the front of the box, it says, new thing. On the side of the box here, it says Lego certified store chain. Nothing unexpected there. And then back here, it basically has the copyright for Lego and then like an address, so. It's time to open the gift box. I'm like, I'm so pumped for this one. Oh boy. There could actually be cool stuff in here. Like, like genuinely like dope stuff that's kind of rare and old now. So, you know, it's been a few years. I also have no idea how common these were in Russia. Like I said, I was only ever able to see one available online here and it went for, I think I paid what, 375. So these ain't cheap. I don't know if what's inside's worth it, but to me the novelty of like having the box alone is almost worth that money, I don't know if I'm ready for this. Please be good, 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 please be good. Oh, it's wrapped, oh my God, this is so cool. Oh my God, it's wrapped. That is so cute, I don't wanna open it. They got little smiley faces, the stormtroopers, the gift, the, the, the bricks, the gift, oh Lord, and it's got another piece of tape perfectly intact. I don't wanna break this at all. Um, let's peek inside here, what, oh boy. Okay, okay, I just got a sneak preview. I really don't want to break the tape, so I'm gonna try, I, I, I'm, being, I'm being ridiculous. I should just break the tape, but I'm gonna be ridiculous because I'm allowed to. It's my video. Oh boy, now. Ooh, ooh. Okay, we didn't bend it too bad. All right, 
Everything's out. Here we go. Close up the mystery box. Put it over here. Oh boy, I am so excited. I know you can probably see what's inside, but I can't. I'm just gonna start pulling one item at a time from the top. Oh, this is the worst. What is this garbage? This is like an alien spaceship. This isn't Star Wars. <laughs> they, they said aliens and they threw it in. Okay, one one of one I am disappointed. Let's see. Let's see what else we have. This is so much fun. I wish there were more of these. Oh, I thought it was gonna be a Scarif Trooper. Okay, this is one we didn't get yet today. So R3 M2, right? So it's Star Wars at least. It's got that going for it. This is the last thing on top. It's a poly, another one? Random alien poly bag. I wonder if these are like rare or valuable at all. I'm gonna have to look them up. I, I doubt it. Probably nobody cares about them, but just because they're here, I have to wonder. Okay, a Lego Star Wars pen book. That's not too bad. I can write some video ideas down on this. I, I don't like collect these or anything. Oh, a brick sketches. Okay, okay. A little retired item now. It's not too bad. First order stormtrooper. I might even throw that back there. That looks, that's actually a clean looking box now. And then we have, please don't be another brick sketches. Our, ah, ah, the brick heads that's been out for three years. Woo! Mandalorian Grogu brick heads. I'm smiling through the pain. Oh, is this the last item? No, no, all right, another May 4th promo. This is weird, it's got this giant sticker on the back. I have no idea, I've never seen anything like that before. Maybe it's a Russian thing for Lego, but um, got the A-Wing TIE Interceptor Death Star 2 promo. Oh, this is the last item. It's the Battle of Hoth May 4th promo. So not $375 worth of stuff. No Chrome Stormtrooper, no Chrome Vader, no Gold C-3PO. Uh, there's one more thing. Oh, there's one more thing. Oh, wow. A Darth Vader keychain you shouldn't have. Thank you. They just retired this too. This was like the longest running keychain. Oh no, this is, oh, this is the version before the new, so the 2014 version of this keychain just retired. This is copyright 2003. This is an older keychain than the keychain you just retired. Judging from the logo, I would guess this is like 2007, probably 2007, eight, but this is an old keychain. So the, honestly, the coolest thing in here is the keychain is as bad as that sounds. Uh, no, I'm sorry. This was the best thing. So as I've thought about it more, I think my official answer is this is the only official Lego Star Wars mystery box ever released. The other three mystery boxes that you saw in this video are allowed or endorsed by Lego, but not released by Lego. So if you're trying to be a completionist collector like I am with Lego, I would only say you need this, but I mean, especially the big one here from Russia, that's fun, bro. This paper, I, I want more paper like that so bad. Anyway, let me know which of the mystery boxes you thought was best in the comments section below. Do you want Lego Star Wars to do another mystery box? I'm sure you do with old promos. Thing is, they probably don't have a bunch of old promos laying around anymore. That's what the point of this was. So maybe there isn't as much cool stuff that you could get in a future mystery box. But hey, looking back on it, it seems like it was a cool idea, especially now that some of these are, are much more valuable. I think it kind of changes the perspective on, on how much this is worth to someone. Anyway, leave a like if you enjoyed. I'm gonna pull the old YouTuber trick. If this video hits 10,000 likes, I will spend $1,000 on random mystery Lego Star Wars boxes from who knows and see what I get.